All right, so this segment's going to be the sunny shore skip. Well, we use the sunny shore skip guy to do another skip. Uh, but what I'm going to do is show this whole segment just because the movement tech here is pretty important, especially when you're trying to go fast. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is go up to this tile and then diagonal through the grass. That's less steps in the grass, less chance to kill your run. Dodge her by just whichever direction she's not looking. And the reason why you need to blitz over here is if you're fast enough, you'll beat the kid like that. Um, and that gives you no chance of getting hit by any trainers on this segment. Uh, this girl can't hit you if you're all the way down. And the kid can only hit you if he's, you know, close enough. And she doesn't look to the right. So once you're on the right side, you're totally safe. So that's why you want to do that movement uh, quickly and also accurately because you don't want to get encounters either. Um, but once you're through there, we're ready to do the next little trick of the run. This is going to be the sunnier side up skip. There's a couple meme names for it. Uh, it's really simple. So all you do is one single menu storage, which you should be an expert at now. Um, you could move to the right while you're mashing out of these menus, but for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to show it. And all you do here is you're going to walk to the right, and as soon as you hear the exclamation point, you hit the B button. And then you just walk up. So this is one of the situations where uh, we're storing a cutscene, but we're just going to allow it to play once we get to the end of this area. So we're going to head and make our way all the way up. And there's a cool little optimization at the end that we're going to do. Um, I should mention, as soon as you stop moving for like three seconds, the cutscene's going to finish playing. Um, so once you get to this area, instead of just letting the cutscene end, what you want to do is walk inside here and then go left. And what's going to happen is when the cutscene plays, you're going to, again, get pushed out of bounds. And this just lets you skip the little transition. You can just walk through the building. Uh, go up a couple steps, then go right, and you just walk into Veilstone. And not only is that faster, but it also deloads all the NPCs. So when you're heading up here, there's nobody here to block you. So it's just a nice little optimization that you can make to go faster. Um, anyway, go ahead and buy your items. Death warp to the person to the left of town, and I'll meet you back with the crazy part of the run.